Hi everyone. I'm so glad that you are here with me today. I do hope that you're having an amazing day. As you read by the title, we are going to be doing some of my fall favorites. Now I did try to keep this at a bare minimum. I am going to give you a list and show you some of the palettes that I love to use out of my own collection that I have bought myself. And then I have a stack that we have gotten through subscription boxes, whether it's BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Bijou Beauty Box, Slay Glam Box, all of those kind of things that most of us have so that you can see what you should bring out for fall if you have these palettes yourself. So I'm going to start with some of my personal fall favorite palettes. My first one is the Too Faced Natural Lust Palette. This retails for $59. It has 30 shades. It does have a mirror. I found mine at TJ Maxx for the astonishing price of $27. And I couldn't pass it up. This is a sexy, sultry, soft neutrals, smoky shadows, and then little pops of colors everywhere. This also works well as a wedding palette. Um, I enjoy this palette very much so. It's got some neat shimmers. It's just a stunning palette all the way around. So if you have this palette, this is a nice one for fall. This is also a nice one for wedding looks. The next one is my first palette that I bought when I thought that it was a high-end palette. Now, if I just stopped right here, guys, <laughs> oh, all the money I would have saved, but I didn't. This is the Morphe 35V. It retails for $25. Now, most people either love Morphe or hate Morphe. I enjoy Morphe. I think that this is a beginner-friendly palette. It is very easy to blend. It is very easy to work with. You have your creams, your taupes, your maroons, a green, some blue, couple purple purples down here, a burnt orange color, which is fabulous in fall time. I enjoy this palette. Like I said, this was my first high-end palette. So, if you have this palette, bring it out. Check it out. Use it. My next one is another Morphe palette, but this one is the 35M, the Boss Mood Palette. I love this palette for the greens. It is also a stunning fall palette with your, born <laughs> with your burnt oranges and your browns, some cranberry colors down here, some purple, and then your rose of greens, olive green, um, military green, bright green. You have some green shimmers. It's just, this is a fun palette very much fun to use all the way around. And like I said, Morphe shadows blend very easily. If you are new or a beginner to makeup, I would totally recommend this palette. It also retails for $25 if I did not say that. The next one is the Tarte Tartlet Tartlet Tarte Tartlet toasted. This is 12 shades. It retails for $39. It not only smells great, but the colors are easy to work with. And anything from a Tarte palette is very simple to work with. The colors blend very well. The whole nine yards, you have your burnt oranges, coral colors, some brown, a couple of shimmers from light to medium to dark. A little off red copper color shimmer, a lighter shimmer color, and then a deeper darker shimmer color. It's just an easy palette to work with all the way around and it shows up very, very good. You can see that for yourself on how well it shows up. I will say if I am looking across the room, I did figure out how to 
hook my camera up to my laptop so that I can actually see what I'm doing now instead of the mirror that was behind it. Um, this helps so much better, so I hope it doesn't disrupt y'all, but it works better for me. The next one is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette. This is my second favorite of all the JSC palettes. This retails for $45 and it has 10 shades. This green, this purple, this maroon, and this mustard. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I know that people do have a opinion about Jeffree Star right now. And that's fine. You can, you can, anybody can feel however they want. But you cannot tell me that his formula is not up to date. I mean, stunning, stunning colors. You can see for yourself, great fall vibe colors. So the Androgyny palette, of course, is one of my favorite fall palettes. The next one is from ABH, and it is a great palette no matter what time of year, and it is the Soft Glam Palette. I would have used the Modern Renaissance Palette, but the reds in there are not a fall colors to me. They're a little bit too bright, too out there, but this one is a totally stunning palette no matter what time of year it is. But in fall, it's a great palette to pull out of. It is also travel friendly when and if we ever get to go anywhere. But it's just soft, subtle colors. And it gives me fall vibes. Uh, I don't, I didn't tell y'all. It retails for $45. And it's a great all year round palette. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14 shades. I mean, it's a great palette. If you don't have this palette, I highly recommend this palette. My next one is also from ABH. This is the Norvina Volume 3. This was gifted to me, but I absolutely adore this palette. Love the colors, and it just screams fall. You have some pop of colors. You have your oranges, your browns, your creams. You have some blues, your greens. It's a nice palette and it's easy to work with. It's very pigmented, great quality, great formula. It's a nice palette. I am very glad to have this palette in my collection. The next one is, the next three, you have to very much be committed to these palettes. Um, the first two I bought were full price and the last one I bought was on sale. But the formula of these and the quality is amazing. And I am talking about the Melt 420 palette. This is a $58 palette for 10 shades. The shimmer in here is absolutely horrible, but the colors are beautiful. Fabulous greens and mustard colors. Very, very, very pretty. Um, very deep if you want it to be. And then not as deep if you play with it. Um, Melt is a learning experience. But the formula... The quality, guys, there's some of the colors from in there. Beautiful. You've seen one dip, once back and forth. It's, it's a nice palette. Very, very pretty. So, for a $58 palette, I am glad that I have this in my collection. I do enjoy the colors in it. It's a nice palette. The next one is also from Melt, and it is the 27 palette. I explain this palette as my beautiful nudes and pinkies. This is my adult girly palette. 
It is $58 also. Also has 10 shades. But it's a lighter um, pink nude palette. Just as the other one, the formula in here is amazing. Very, very pigmented. The quality is great. The formula is wonderful. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Beautiful. Um, I have become a melt lover very quickly. It did take me a minute to learn how to use the formulas of melt eyeshadows. But once you have it down, the looks that you can create with these palettes is mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. The next one's also for Melt. This is the Impulsive palette. I got mine on sale for $25 at Melt. Um, great deep fall colors. And it has many choices for your shimmers. Uh... There is that palette. You have your greens, your oranges, your yellow mustard, your cranberry colors, and then any color shimmer that you would like to put with it. And I love the way that they laid this out. I know that some people hate it. It's a stair step. I enjoy it. I, I really do. It's a very nice palette, and I'm glad that I have it in my collection. So, if you're looking for something... Mm -hmm easy to use from melt maybe you don't maybe you don't have a melt palette for $25 I would highly recommend trying this palette out just to get a good grip on melt cosmetics eyeshadow formula the next two are the next three are little any of them take five minutes. You can make a beautiful, put-together eye look in all of five minutes. And I'm talking about the ColourPop Brown Sugar Palette and the ColourPop Going Coconuts Palette. And if you have both of these, the looks you can make out of this, stunning, stunning, stunning. Absolutely just takes a few seconds. Beautiful looks. I enjoy these palettes. They are nine shades. They are $12 a piece. And ColourPop formula, it's not the best formula ever, but you get quality eyeshadow formula for what you pay. And then the last one is the ColourPop California Love. This is 12 shades, and it retails for $18. It does have one glitter eyeshadow, whatever, glitter in it, um, and it does stick. I do use a, a glitter glue with mine when I use this palette. It does stick to your skin, but it also sticks to your fingers. So, if you know anything about glitter, use your glitter glue. It just, it makes it so much easier. But the colors in here are just as nice as the other palettes that I have showed you. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Very deep, very rich, and very much appreciated for the price of what you get. You, you get pretty good quality for your money on that one. So those were my picks from palettes that I have bought myself. The next ones I wanted to go over were palettes that we received in boxes. I think that it's very much needed. Um, I know a lot of y'all get subscription boxes just like we do, and you have a lot of these palettes. So the first one, I did buy this an add-on. It did come from BoxyCharm. It is the Hip Dot Zion palette. It is what I'm wearing today on my eyes. I absolutely love this palette. I've only tried it once. But from what I've used, I love it. It is 15 shades, retails for 
Like I said, I've only used it once. I will be using it more. But so far, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Easy to work with. Very simple. Easy eye look. Took all of like five minutes to make the eye look. Very impressed with this palette. This is my third Hip Dot palette. I do have the Hip Dot SpongeBob palette and the Opulence palette. I'm glad to have a third Hip Dot. The formula of these is amazing. The next one I'm going to talk about is from Slay Glam Box. This did come from the All Palette Month of August of 2020. This is the Oaklawn uh, Liquid Metal Eyeshadow. It retails for $10.99. You get six shades. It's beautiful. I don't care for liquid eyeshadows like Stila, um, Ciate London, all of those. I don't care for it. Um, the color names are on the back of it, but these don't transfer like some liquid eyeshadows can. This is a pressed liquid eyeshadow formula, and I absolutely think it's beautiful. There are some of the colors of them. Very, very pigmented. Very, very beautiful. I enjoy this palette. And I was glad to see that at least one palette from Oaklawn wasn't horrible. The one that I received in my Supreme Mystery Box was absolutely junk. This one was so much better. So I do appreciate that. I was very surprised by it. And the formula was great. I love to work with it. So, another one that we have is from BoxyCharm. I know a lot of people threw a fit when this came out. But now's the time to pull it out, guys. Now's the time to use it. It's the BoxyCharm Hello Charmer palette. This retailed for $39. It was an exclusive palette, and it has 12 shades. If you have this palette, pull it out now. This is the time to use it. It does have a few pops of colors. The red... The Gold Lux is beautiful. The colors in here are nice to play with. And I very much think that it is a fall colored palette. The next one is an oldie but a goodie. It is one of my absolute favorite palettes to wear in the fall. It is the Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail palette. This is $45. It has 20 shades. Vegan, cruelty-free. Love this palette. And it is infused with jojoba oil, which is great for your eyes. It does have the cranberries, the orange, the creams, the browns, burgundy color. Very nice palette to work with. And Violet Boss Formula is amazing. So if you have this palette... Pull it out. Play around with it. The next one is a palette that the company is great. It is from Dose of Colors. Um, the layout of it, not many people liked. It has a weird layout. It is the Hidden Treasures palette. This is on sale right now for $25 at Dose of Colors. Normally retails for $50. Bucks. It has 10 shades in it. And while the layout is extremely weird, the colors and the formula are amazing in this palette. So, if you haven't played with this in a while, pull it out. Give it some love. It will not let you down. And it's easy. It's an easy palette to work with. Even if they wasted space and the layout's weird. The next one is also from Dose of Colors, and this is the Sassy Sienna's palette. We also got this in BoxyCharm. This retails for $32. It has five shades. It is an all matte palette. The Earth Tones, Pops of Peach Colors, Cruelty, Gluten, Paraben, Talc, Phthalate Free. Um, Dose of Colors has got it going on. The colors in here are absolutely amazing. From the light corals, oranges, to the deeper, darker browns. And it comes with its own little brush. 
I don't particularly care for this brush, but it is in there. Um, the shades, however, beautiful. I love this palette. I don't do, I do have to use another palette to pull from for a shimmer, but the rest of it, absolutely great palette. The next one, the next two are both from Ipsy and they are both from Huda Beauty. One is the Mauve Obsessions and one is the Coral Obsessions. Both of these retail for $27. They are both nine shades. You can go from day to night looks. They are smooth. They are blendable. Super compact and travel friendly if and when we ever get to travel again. This one does have that nice pop of orange mustard color. And this one has the nice pop of burgundy dark purple color. So I do like both of these for the fall time. And you can even put them together if you would, if you would like. The next one is also from BoxyCharm. I'm sorry, they are two of the same company. These are both from Ace Beauté. They are sister palettes. One is the Scarlet Dusk. This is for sunsets. The other is the Vintage Dawn, and this is Sunrises. Both of these retail for $34.99. They both have 12 shades. Together, they make one lovely, beautiful palette. The colors in here are great. They blend. They, they're smooth. They're easy to work with. And I love Ace Beauté's formula. You have your oranges, green, a pop of blue. This color dew is just beautiful. It is a beautiful icy shimmer. And then this one is your pinks, purples, more oranges, mauves. Beautiful, beautiful palettes. Like I said, together, these make one absolutely stunning palette. The next one is also from Ace Beauté. This is the Quint Essentials palette. This retails for $38.99. It is 16 shades. This one replaced my Grandiose palette from Ace Beauté. The Grandiose palette is my favorite Thanksgiving themed palette. I do still have it, but a lot of the colors out of here are in here. So you can see all the love that I've given this palette. <laughs> And this is the new one. And it has a few more pops of colors, which I find beautiful. The yellow in here, the pink, the pop of blue. Very nice, nice palette. And if you have this one and loved it, you will love this one just as much. And you have more to play with. So, great palette. The price isn't bad, and a lot of us do have it from BoxyCharm. There are a few more and then we will be done, but I wanted to give y'all a, a wide array of palettes for fall because not everybody's the same. Not everybody digs the same thing. This one I got in a Bijou Beauty Box. This is from Ruby May. This is the Festival Days palette. This is $28.50. You get 12 shades. Now, I could not find this palette on their site. I did have to go back to my unboxing video for the price. But the colors in here scream fall. Um, you have your greens, your oranges, your mustards. It's a stunning palette. I absolutely adore this palette. I have used it a few times. It's a nice palette. And I don't have a whole lot by Ruby May, so I do enjoy using this palette. If you have it, pull it out. Give it some more love. The next one we got in BoxyCharm. This is the Tarte Tartiste Pro. This retails for $49 and you get 20 shades. This is still a rather newish palette from BoxyCharm. So most of y'all do have this palette. For fall, it's a great palette. You have your 
creams, your browns, your blacks to darken stuff up. Some cranberry color. Stunning, stunning, easy to work with. You can work straight across. You can work straight up and down. These are all your mattes, and then your shimmers are on the side. So if you have this, pull it out. See what you can make for a fall look. I promise you will not not enjoy that palette. The next one I got from an Ipsy box. This is the IBY City Limits palette. This is 12 shades. Retails for $20. It is infused with rose hemp seed oil for skin protecting properties. Beautiful, stunning palette. I know it doesn't look like much, but when you put it on, it's a beautiful palette. You do have a pop of blue in here. There are some of the colors. And IBY is very, very nice. The formula is nice to work with. They blend very well. It's a nice, easy palette. And for $20, you can't go wrong with that. All right, we have two more and then that will be the end of our fall palettes. The next one is an oldie but a goodie. I did receive this from BoxyCharm. This is the Crown Pro. This retails for $9.99. There are 10 shades. This is an absolutely wonderful, easy palette. Easy to work with. It blends easy. The colors are nice. Big pans for the price that you're paying. Although we got ours in BoxyCharm. If you didn't, it's a $10 palette. I would suggest picking it up. I would recommend it. Um... But, here are some of those colors. And it's just easy to work with. Um, very simple. Very, very easy. The quality is there. And then my last palette that I am going to recommend to y'all for fall time. This palette is a must-have in any collection. Uh, you'll thank me later. If you don't have this palette, get it. Run out. Buy it now. Today. This is the best palette for all seasons. I don't care what the look is, what the theme is, what you're doing for that day. This palette goes hand-in-hand hand with that. It is the Alamar Volume 1. Retails for $28. There is eight shades. This is five star review. It is made in the USA. Cruelty free, gluten, paraben, mineral oil free. And then that is what those colors look like. Like I said, most of us that have BoxyCharm do have this palette. I was not lucky enough to get this palette in my BoxyCharm. I did buy this on my own. I do want the other two to go along with this. I just haven't made that leap yet. But the colors in here are fabulous. You will thank me later <laughs> uh, for this palette. There are some of the colors. And there is what it looks like swatched on the skin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. That is a must have in anybody's collection. I don't care if you just started your collection or if you've been doing this five years. This palette is a standalone on itself. I mean, I don't know if Alamar made it that way, but this is one of my favorite, favorite palettes. And I don't care what the season, where I'm going, what I'm doing. Beautiful palette. Very easy to work with. So guys, I know that that was a kind of lengthy video, but fall is upon us. Today is October 1st, and it's the season. So if you have any of these, um, pull them out. Give them some love. 
try them if you haven't. Comment down below and let me know if you have any of these palettes and what your thoughts are. Let me know if you don't have any of these palettes. If you would like a more in-depth look done with any of these palettes, I would be very inclined to do that for you. So, I do appreciate you watching the video. Please do give it a like or a dislike. Either way, it does show me that you're paying attention. If you're not subscribed, please do so already. I would love to have you join the family. And that's it, guys. Um, fall's here. Bust out those pretty palettes. Until next time, love yourself and remember I love you too.